Reich of the Dead, also known as Zombie Massacre 2 Reich of the Dead. However, don't worry if you haven't seen the first film, it really has nothing to do with it. In fact, the first film was a kind of a modern contemporary zombie film, whilst this one is set in World War II, as you probably gathered by the other title, and it has nothing to do with the first film whatsoever. So, the story here basically focuses on four uh, American soldiers that are kind of stumbling along as you do in World War II, and they come across a seemingly deserted building, uh, which is obviously inhabited by Nazis at some point, but there's no one around, at least at first, and they discover that there's basically something going on, that Nazis have been doing some kind of nasty experiments on prisoners of war, and of course they're turning them into zombies. What else do these Nazis do? Damn, they love their zombies. Anyway, so <clears throat> it's obviously up to our kind of our American heroes to try and you know come up with an escape plan and try and call for reinforcements and kind of find out what's sort of going on. And of course, are attacked by uh, ravenous zombies. Uh, one of the good things I would say about this film is it does have a few little unique ideas here and there. One of which is you are made to feel somewhat. Uh, sorry for some of the zombies, these are guys who, you know, have just been kind of prisoners of war, been experimented on and, and really are kind of victims, it actually says that. So you feel, they've obviously gone through quite a lot already and now they're zombies. So you do feel somewhat, a little bit of empathy for the zombies. And I have to say, it, it kind of plays with some original ideas in regards to uh, mental stability and kind of, and, and how that kind of plays in with the whole zombies thing. I won't go too much into it because it kind of will ruin one of the kind of the more unique elements of this film. Uh, so let's talk about some of the positives and negatives. Other than that, we'll go for the positives first. I say aesthetically, this film looks very, very good for the budget. I think the, it's all shot in Italy, and the actual location shooting and the set design all looks very, very good. Um, they do a decent enough job of really kind of like selling you the fact that this is a kind of a, you know a deserted, uh, you know German uh, sort of occupied uh, sort of place at one point and you know great design there and also the design of the actual zombies themselves for the most part are pretty good now uh, they it kind of reminds me a little bit of the makeup from the army of darkness movie i have to say there are a couple of instances where we see kind of like um, <clears throat> more long shots and the zombies done it quite as good they're clearly wearing masks but i would say more times out than not the, the zombie makeup looks pretty good there are a couple of instances where they use kind of CGI and explosions and kind of aeroplanes f flying overhead, things like that, which is noticeable at CGI, but what are you going to do? This is kind of a, you know, low budget film. I think it's forgivable at this kind of point. However, this film does have some, some drawbacks. And I'll go for the major one first. This is a really slow moving film. It's slower than the kind of the shuffling corpses themselves, you might say. Um, it's very much groups of people standing around procrastinating for ages. That's pretty much this movie with a kind of the odd smattering of, uh, you know, of plot and kind of zombie attacks that are thrown in. But for the most part, it's, this, it's, the, it's the, the interplay between mainly these kind of like uh, four American soldiers or some other characters that are introduced as the film goes on. But it's just a lot of standing around talking. And the other thing that kind of goes hand in hand with that the dialogue of this film is really hammy sometimes. I mean, it's, it, it kind of uh, it reminds me, and I was thinking while I was watching this, it reminds me of kind of war reenactment and kind of like the people just trying to, who have no acting experience, trying to kind of get into character and saying like kind of real cheesy stuff and kind of, you know, you would just kind of imagine that like the almost cosplayers doing and things like that. So just the kind of the actual dialogue, you know, you know, it's very kind of trite and cheesy. And the acting isn't fantastic either, I have to say. It's not terrible, but, you know, when you have kind of this kind of crappy dialogue and you have not fantastic actors, it does come across as a little poor. <clears throat> and I have to say, like I said, that just the pacing of this film is, is going to be the main thing. It, is, it looks fantastic, I would say, but it's kind of a boring film at the end of the day. There's very little in the, in the, in the way of actual gore, and there's actually very little in the way of zombie attacks. Uh, you know, I won't go too much into what they could have done with maybe filling out the kind of the, uh, the American squad to have a few more members because, unfortunately, uh, we don't actually get a hell of a lot of zombie attacks here. Uh, some of the kind of the, the our heroes are taken out by other means and um, th there's, there's little in the way of, of zombie attacks. And when we get to our kind of our last act, basically, where we're kind of introduced to a few new characters, you kind of stop caring at that point and it kind of goes into... 
a lot of kind of psycho babble and mumbo jumbo, but you pretty much switched off, unfortunately, at that point. I think they probably had an audience for this film, but uh, just for a piece of entertainment, I felt like they couldn't, it was kind of lacking. It's just not engaging. It, set, it sets up like it's going to be very good. Like I said, the look of it looks, you know, quite enjoyable. And you, you know, you think, oh, this is going to be a fairly decent film, but unfortunately, just too much time is spent on pointless dialogue, pointless scenes of people chatting for, about just kind of like being macho or stuff like that. Just, you know, unfortunately, a bit of a wasted opportunity this film. So I'm going to give this movie a 4 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.